I should have everything, right? Yes, I do. Hell yeah. Graves. This is not the same grave as the campaign one. As you may be able to tell by their face. I'm getting carried away, dude. <laughs> just, just just cut to the part where I'm actually doing what I'm supposed to do. God, I don't have a class either. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Sword. I need that. Now we're here on H1. Jesus Christ, really? We're here on H1, which is like either before X, but for Mono or Fairy Master. They finally allowed custom mods. So basically, you get like Death Run and all that shit, which is really cool. I don't see any servers for that, though. I think I might be missing something. Okay, I just checked. Realization just hit me. I should have maybe played this the moment they released the mods. Because right now, there's a total of six people playing. And that's and that shit sucks, because I actually really like this mod. My controller settings are not set up. But this is it. It looks beautiful. The mod is brilliant, and it makes me really... Really sad that nobody plays it. This update is huge as well. I feel like the game works way differently than it used to. I feel like it's a lot more stable as well. But this mod received a lot of buzz when it launched. All the big YouTubers made videos about it. At least most of them did. Even I made a video on it. Although I don't, I'm not one of the big YouTubers. Because it's really sick. And now it, it, nobody plays it. Oh god. It's definitely kind of upsetting that it doesn't have nearly as much of a player base as, I don't know, IW4X, Plutonium. But also that does have a lot to do with the fact that it isn't nearly as iconic as the games that those guys have. Like this is Modern Warfare Remastered. Not Mario for 2, not Mario for 3, Black Ops 2, not none of those. It's probably one of the more forgettable games in the grand scheme of things, which kind of sucks. Match Egan's. Okay, the moment I mentioned. Oh, well, okay, it does that. Don't worry about it. I guess we can, like, boil it down to a couple reasons why this game doesn't really have many players. Controlled. Oh, God, there's someone there. Ow. One of the reasons which got me specifically is the fact that the game is massive. It's like 80 gigs. I needed to free up a lot of space and I realized I didn't really play H1 that much. So I deleted it and then they updated it. I forgot the other reasons. Shit. I find one of the bigger reasons as to why nobody plays it though is just because nobody else plays it. There's only six people playing. Why would I play it? I'd rather just play a game with 50 billion players. That's all though. It kind of stinks. I actually really like this mod. I think the devs nailed it. I feel like it has a lot of potential. Now that there's like full mod support. Like including custom weapons apparently. Which is insane to me. Well, give me this. What? Destroyed. Yeah, I really wasn't expecting this slow of a player count, but also, I mean, like, I mean, if you think about it for a bit, like, it's not that surprising. If you haven't tried it yet, try it out. It's called H1 Mod. I'll find a link for it. Also, there's another reason I completely forgot, but it kind of relates to the whole, like, 80 gigabyte thing. You're gonna need a lot more to run Modern Warfare Fairy Master, because, like, the other, the other CODs, right, they're from 2012, 2007, 2009. They're really old. They can run on literally anything. This can't. If you have a low-end PC that runs Black Ops to like 50 FPS, you're not gonna run this game. Mostly because A, like it's a, it's a newer game, and B, because Activision didn't put that much like emphasis on the PC versions in this era. Because like there were more and more people playing it on console like every day. It's like why bother with the PC? But yeah, you can definitely tell like how it fluctuates all the time. Like yes, we're going from like 90 FPS to 250. They'd half ask the PC ports just to say, yeah, we have a PC port, guys. I don't think they truly tried hard at the PC ports until Modern Warfare. Like Modern Warfare 2019. Since they had crossplay by that point, and I mean like PC gaming was like, you know, making like a huge resurgence. It never really went away, but like, I feel like it, it definitely got a lot bigger in that era. Although usually PC gaming always gets a huge boost, like in that weird, you know, in that weird like little space where like all the... Oh guys, flash of accident, whoops. Oh, that's actually... What? Okay. In that weird era where like P new PC hardware still comes out every like two two years or so. So the performance always gets better and better. Yeah, the consoles are still stuck like seven years behind. That's usually always the best time for PC gaming. And then the next gens come out and it's like kind of like even. The difference was definitely a lot more prevalent in I want to say the 360 era. Because that shit lasted way too long. 360 came out in 2005. And then it died in 2013. Which I don't, I don't know how it lasted that long. It seems to be more people. Though a lot of these seem like bot names. They're definitely bots actually. The more I think about it. There's definitely real people in here. But like, I don't know man. I can't tell me all these people are real. Some of them are way too bad. Yeah, I guys, that's a prisoner bot. There's no way. I just got a heli. But it doesn't matter. But yeah, that's H1. If you're looking to play Modern Warfare Remastered, I mean, when it comes to, like, finding servers with players, this is no longer the best way to do it. It's still objectively the best way to play it. Like, when it comes to, like, feel when it comes to performance compatibility etc but like if you're looking for players i'd recommend you play on console for a bit